through only transaction we praise. Through our new words and our codes, acronyms, justice, and equality we raise. That side says speak only our words. The other side says learn our code. Us and them, me and mine, you and yours, them and theirs. Prove what kind of citizen you are. Economically, commercially, mercenary, infused with our beliefs and those sacred numbers recorded, displayed, generated through algorithmic reliefs, becoming immutable and manifesting a new kind of nature. Covenant we seek. Our products proving parallelism profits. Our code seeks to silence the other's news speak. The transaction rules, rectifies, receipts, receptions. It is our mantra, our foundation. Fortitude, fortunate soldiers seeking fortune. Our audience moving in cadence. The creation of content consumes all. As our partisan airs bloom, we exist in spite of those other monoliths. As we continually covet collecting money hand over fisted. We stand side by side, our heads tilted back with mouths open and askew, analogous, equidistant, never meeting, as we march ahead with each new transaction and shout to hell with all else. We repeat what we need to believe, deceive, giving us purpose, an enemy. We exist, so our opposite must exist. We will make them real through sheer pure will as we craft another fable to follow, filling the hollow of our lives, helping us to forget about dying alone, confused in the dark. Fear-mongering again. Spread it, spread it, another story I will read to you that details which side is good and evil, using natural laws, our immutable doctrine. We promise that every day following today will become crazier, because that is what we, you, need. Their indoctrination is evil. For a fee, we have all that you will need. Join us. Mirror perception of something inside of me. When my opposite does not exist, I will create one, using the rhetoric to define the architecture of my world, dreams, stretching upward, digging deep into the earth, a natural law that is immutable. You are there for me every day, speaking to me, for me, we start to say the same words, phrases, one mind, heart, tongue, soul, belief, rhetoric, the fine line we tread, a thread that binds us, together, delicately, intricately, all of those others could not understand us, as we synthesize our justifications, rationalizations. Covetous, we seek rapacious, fortunate soldiers, using our veno vernacular to transition on to the next price, deal, strategy. Our mindset, sentiment, transaction is at our core, our beliefs. Illusory memories of another preferred reality, of a bygone era, and some ambiguous abstract error that led the shared consciousness in another direction, from that sweet and innocent time, populated by those forgotten men and women, and the ascribed, synthesized ideas, beliefs, images, words, sounds, digitally, passively, fed to a future people. Obfuscation, magnification of new sets of numbers to follow, 
along with a design to feed into the myriad's personality traits, behaviors, directing them to this side and that side, and all of the new things supposedly happening between the two sides. Now those words, images, ideas are inside the myriad's minds, hearts, driving them forward and downward. Ideas manifesting, defining me, making me choose which side and belief to embrace, chase, as I clamor, fitting into this manufactured tight skin. It is tough walking around in it as a malformed, twisted figure in broad daylight on Main Street, trying to see through the stretched out creases that pass for eyes. All of the sounds are muffled, my words stifled, the ground spongy as I move around clumsily. All of the notions of war is over now. No one will soon be cajoled to readily and proudly bleed, die, kill for colors, ideas, soil. And the birth of the new visage will resound out from a desperate womb, filling the air anew, assembled from fragments and remnants, forming a pastiche of mercenary intent, transfixed on transactions. Through attrition, the myriad stumble, led by this side and that side, once again made to believe that this time everything will lead to the changes they want and desire, wetting their appetites with each word, phrase, handed to them by recognizable voices, faces, that assure them that there will be some kind of changes. Again.